The danger of the past was that men became slaves, but the danger of the future is that men may become robots. There is only one choice and then maybe we cannot find the way back to fix our robot. Hello everyone, this is Aziz and today I'm going to be talking about our project design in designing a robot game board. So we're going to go over eight main points. First of all, we're going to be talking about the project description. Second, the marketability, problem statement and the objectives. The usage, backgrounds, intellectual property, ethical consideration, and finally, the final concepts. So, first of all, we're going to be talking about the project description. Our project is to design a robot game board that will work on the game board to play a game like a human. It depends on the game board requirements, and also the game board requirements has limited the limitation. Second, the marketability. MojoBot and the DRFT are the main elements for the project, for our project marketability. Whereas the MojoBot is the first tangible coding robot, and also the DRFT is the real racing and drift simulation. The next point that I'm going to talk about is the problem statement and the objectives and the goals. As we mentioned before, our project design is to design a robot game board that will work on the game board and to play a game like a human. Additionally, we're going to focus on the objectives and the goals, such as moving in the accurate direction safe to use, easy to use, and it's not going to be harmful to the human body, and also more accurate than a human. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Sultan Harbi. As my teammate Aziz mentioned, we're going to talk about several things about our robot, such as intended users and background, an example for it. And this is what I'm going to talk about today. Let's start with the intended users and users. Our robot can be used by more than one category, and we classified it like this all generation people board games lover professional players and non-professional players the project can be used for gaming process processes by the children for different games it can be used by the businessman to invest in it and earn the money also it can be used by the industrialist so that the worker feels relaxed by using the robot game board it can be used in the media industry for entertainment. In the background part, we discuss and analyze various projects and products that are designed in the past based on the technology and mechanism. Used by the new project, three projects are discussed in this section. Mojobot, Robot Play, Autonomous Game Playing, Robot. I'm gonna talk about the Mojobot and my teammate Mubarak will continue the rest. So, the Mojobot. Mojobot is a project created by Project Lab in 2019. Mojobot focuses on allowing the children to play as well as learn at the same time. Our project is better than the above presented project because we provide a game board for robots without human interactions and the game board has limited limitation and we have to limit our robot with the limit for the working. This is what I wanted to mention today. My teammate Mubarak will continue now. Thank you all for listening. Hello, I'm Mubarak Renezi from group number 9 and today I'll start with Robots Play. Robots Play is a project created by Andrew Brooks, Jesse Gray and Guy Hoffman in 2004 at MIT. Robot Robots Play is a robot computer and computation-based entertainment unit. It's a relatively newer form of entertainment. It's a socially interactive game playing device. It's focused on making the robot learn from an interaction like gestures and languages. It's divided into two categories. One is learning with play and others being learning as play. Autonomous Game Playing Robot an autonomous game playing robot project was done by the Institute of Information Sciences 
and the technology at Mass University in 2004. The project is based on a real-time robot that plays board games opposite to human op opponents. M many games have been developed on the computer, but those can be played on the screen virtually. Our project is better than the above presented project because we provide a game board for robots without human interactions. The game board has limited limitations and we have to limit our robot within this limit for working. Intellectual property. Intellectual property is a category of property that includes intangible creations of a human project. Because we provide a game board for robots without human interactions. The game board has limited limitations and we have to limit our robot within this limit for working. Intellectual property. Intellectual property is a category of property that includes intangible creations of a human intellect. There are many types of intellectual property and some countries recognize more others. The most well-known types are copyrights, patents, trademarks, and trade secrets. Intellectual property is extremely important before any project and we will avoid infringement by overviews the feasibility of a project concerning existing projects and also provides a competitive edge in the market. In this section, different patents are discussed related to the project to avoid copyright issue in certain models. First patent checkers playing robot. This paper about checkers playing robot was published in January 2004 on Research Gate. It describes the design and construction of a board game playing robot that can be used to interactively play a human opponent in three dimensional space. This filed by Darren Lewis and Donald Bailey. Hello, my name is Yair Mohammed. I'm a team member on Team 9. So this autonomous game playing robot was published in January 2004 by Donald Bailey, Ken Mercer, and Colin Clark. It discusses a robot that plays autonomously without the need for conventional computer interfaces. The key objective for a game playing robot is to have the interface between the player and the robot. The robot will also uh, be dictated by the game rather than explicit computer requirements. The social robot as a card game player was filed in October 2017 by Philippe Carrier, Patrick Oliver, Thiago Rubio, and Anna Pili. Now we have all possible solutions to the dilemma and we'll analyze, evaluate, and find the best possible solution of it with the ethical theory model. The ethical theory model consists of four theories. These theories promote humanism and they demand to fulfill human rights. We analyze, evaluate, and find the best possible solution of it with the ethical theory model. The ethical theory model consists of four theories. These theories promote humanism and they demand to fulfill human rights. We shall evaluate our solutions obeying these theories so that our solutions complies with all ethics, user safety, and uh, jury behavior with clients. This section of the proposal discusses different alternatives for a particular project depending on the various components that can be used for different software options. This shows that with the help of alternative methods, we can develop an idea with a particular proposed model. Hello, my name is Abdulaziz Abdullah. Today I'm going to talk about the third uh, alternative. We can see that the height uh, score, we get the third uh, alternative, and this gives us the best concept implementations wise. The design would be high co cost effective, 
durable, low uh, energy co uh, consumption, larger communication range, and it holds a uh, simpler design. Uh, today we have mentioned. Uh, today we have mentioned the project description, marketability, uh, problem statement, and uh, objectives, intended users and uses, background, intellectual property, ethical uh, considerations, final consent. Our team will work on this project and we will design a game board for a robot that is independent of a human uh, interactions. This is a project can be used uh, for gaming proposals by the children uh, for different games. It can be used by the businessman to invest in it and earn the money. It can be used by the, uh, the industrialists uh, so that the worker feels relaxed by using this robot game board. It can be used the media industry industry for entertainment and uh, in this uh, in this project we will follow the strategies of marketability and also follow the ethical codes. Thank you uh, for your uh, listening.